Live on the ground from Galvanize, San Francisco. It's the Cube covering Amplify Women's Pitch Night. Now here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're in downtown San Francisco at Galvanize at the Girls in Tech Amplify event, which is Pitch Night. 10 entrepreneurs uh, founded by women are pitching to a room full of VCs. Somebody's going to win 10,000 bucks tonight, and hopefully uh, there'll be a lot more funding activity going on. Really interesting, um, all variety of companies, and we're excited to be joined by our next guest, Jin Lee, whose company is called Kidza. So welcome. Thank you. So Kidza, what is Kidza? Kidza is an app allowing parents to track how their baby is doing at home. And we're different in the sense that we use content recommended by the American Academy of Pediatrics, allowing parents to realize is their baby ahead or behind of developmental milestones? Okay. And if the baby is behind, what connect them to pediatricians? So what is the uh, what are some of the ways that they monitor and feed data into the app? Yeah, so we allow parents to track motor skills, language skills. Uh, we give them a video, um, what to expect, um, and then they answer simple survey questions, like no, yes, sometimes. And then our analytics engine will tell them, yes, 16% um, of the kid failed this milestone, so you're not alone. Um, and then we'll also give them activity on how they can improve. Um, our goal is really just to get parents be more proactive right. and be um, mindful of delays. So you're like, the, when you used to go to the pediatrician and you had the little height weight chart, they give you your X, you're like that on steroids kind of. Well, we do more than that. That's what I'm saying. It's like way <laughs> beyond just whether you're in the, yeah, the height and weight yeah. band. We do, um, we specifically target sort of behavioral issues that is not so noticeable, which is why we've been leveraging content that been approved by the Academy of Pediatrics so that parents can really um, got, be guided through the app and evaluate themselves. Right, and, and, and um, so you're giving them kind of test milestones that they're, yes. that they're tracking on. Obviously they're not testing the baby no. every day. So you've also got a content component it sounds yes. like as well to provide just all kinds of interesting content for people with new babies. Yeah, so we, um, we have content in terms of activities that parents can do. Um, and help their kid achieve a milestone. Um, we also alert them on uh, what's coming up, uh, as well as vaccine information. Um, so our goal is really to help every kid to be screened so that they can get into intervention earlier. Because okay. 95% of the brain development happened before age three. So we really want kid, want parents to be more mindful, especially during those early sensitive years, right. um, and make a real change. And, and, and then if you find a problem or something yeah. is, is out of band, if you will, then what happens? Then within the app, they can connect to their pediatrician. Um, to their own pediatrician? Yes, to their own How pediatrician. How does that work? So you've already got um, those links set up? It's because we, are, we advise them to tell us who their pediatricians are, and then we will go to their pediatrician and uh, um, um, advise them to connect to us. Um, Pediatricians need to be there to evaluate the result, um, and pediatricians are the one who can point the parents to referrals if the kids is at risk. And what about like the Kaiser or the Blue Shield or Sutter Health or the you know that's in the middle between the the, the parent and the pediatrician? Yeah. How do you get through that? So gate? we uh, we started off with pediatricians, um, and pediatricians are willing to work with us because they can actually get reimbursed by health insurance. Um, we've been start talking to insurance companies as well, um, because a lot of them actually controls or have their own pediatricians. Um, and uh, we've been talking, for example, Reinsurance Group of America, who's interested in working with us. Um, um, because ultimately everyone realized in order to really save costs, we have to go to the prevention level. And the best way to do that is start as young as possible. Okay, and then you've got the HIPAA compliance and all of those course. kind of regulatory things exactly. taken care of. Exactly. Okay, so, a um, little bit about the company, how long have you been around, how yeah. many people are out, what's kind of the, the stage of life of yeah. the application? Um, we're, four we're four people. We just hired somebody on last week. So Congratulations. Five. Thank you. Um, we uh, were raising our C round of one and a half mil, um, where we got significant angel investment in. Um, um, I used to teach developmental psychology at Oxford, um, came out of healthcare venture myself, quit, um, um, because I start having kids and, and realize this is what's needed. Um, my co-founder actually had three startup exits. Um, one is Baby Center that got acquired by Johnson & Johnson, another one got acquired by Nickelodeon, um, and then my third co-founder is a 
former NASA bioengineer who used to co-apps for LinkedIn and Cisco. So we have a really experienced and um, team that where we can do everything in-house. We design, build, and sell all among us. What's the biggest surprise that, that you've either expect to find having this information that parents didn't have to this level before, or that you have found in the folks that have, uh, uh, you know, kind of your early adopters? Yeah. Um, it's, it's interesting because we've been seeing sort of two group of parents, one that one that's like super active and paranoid and want to know everything, um, and then the other one... We don't one, have any of those parents <laughs> around, do we? <laughs> um, so myself included, right? Um, and, then, and then the other spectrum of um, our, our group of parents who just were trying to nudge them and convince them to you know, be a little bit more proactive into their kids' uh, development uh, because ultimately we believe parents are the best advocate um, um, and, and the screener for their own kids' health. And is there a particular um, condition, ailment, uh, developmental problem that you will probably find much better than the current methods? Um, I, I would say it's not, not specifically, not so much. Um, the, the three screening tools that we do have currently are more general behavioral issues, like you know, motor, language, cognitive ability, but we do have one specifically targeted in autism um, because um, that one, it's you know, in the forefront of everyone's minds. Right. Um, and we, um, we are using content approved by the Academy of Pediatrics and basically giving it to parents to screen themselves. Right. That gets a little sticky around the uh, inoculation issue sometimes, I think, on the, <laughs> on the autism band. Yeah. A lot of uh, debates on that, on that issue. I know, I know. So we're, we're just having it as one of, our, one of our many screening tools in the app and right. we're letting parents um, decide um, you know, when, um, how, how to use it, but it is there if they want to use it. Okay, so where should people go to find out more information? They can download the app uh, today for free um, on the iTunes uh, store, um, and they can also uh, follow www.kidsout.com. That's Q-I-D-Z-A. Q-I-D-Z-A. All right, well, Jin Lee, thanks for stopping by. Uh, good luck on the pitch night tonight. Thank maybe you. you walk away with 10,000 bucks, or so. maybe one and a half million, I think, because it's the number that you said you're looking for. <laughs> Yes. So, uh, so best of luck to you and uh, you. interesting app. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. She's Jin Lee. I'm Jeff Rick. You're watching the Cube. We're in downtown San Francisco at Galvanize at the Girls in Tech Amplify event. Thanks for watching. <laughs>